The most popular question of the week was about grocery shopping and how to stay safe with grocery shopping. That included, uh, should I wear a mask out in public? Should I wear gloves? How should I clean my groceries? Those kind of things. So here's best practice. First of all, let's talk about masks. Masks are associated with the protection of the person that is wearing the mask from others, not from others infecting you. The idea of a surgical mask or an isolation mask, not an N95 mask, the idea of those masks is to stop anyone who's coughing or sneezing and aerosolizing that particular uh, virus to stay inside that mask. We, you, when you cough, it'll stop it and stop it from spreading. When we cough and especially sneeze, sneezes go many feet. Uh, up to six feet. In some cases, if you sneeze really hard, it can go up to 20 feet. So you want to make sure that, you know, at worst, like we said, cough into this area of your elbow or sneeze into that area to stop that spread. But masks are there to protect you from others. At North Oaks, all of our employees every day come in and get a temperature check and they put on a mask when they're in all the clinical areas or when they're interacting with their fellow people here at North Oaks. We all go home too. We all are potentially exposed outside of this facility and we don't want to bring it in or share it amongst each other or to our patients. So we may wear that mask to protect them from us. So there's, you know, I've seen people driving around Tangipola Parish and I see them in a car alone by themselves wearing a mask. It's really not giving you any potential benefit from not getting the virus from someone else wearing it in that type of fashion. As for gloves and your groceries uh, at the grocery uh, store, I think it's important to know that there is a um, pr protection that people perceive from wearing gloves that may not be true. First of all, understand that this virus, uh, as well as all corona type viruses and influenza and rhinovirus and the whole plethora of those viruses that give us influenza-like illnesses, um, are transmitted by touching mucous membranes inside our mouth, in our nose, the mucous membranes of our eyes, not through our hands. It's not absorbed through our hands. So wearing gloves does not stop it from, you know, you're not gonna get it by touching something unless you subsequently touch your eyes or your nose. So if you're wearing gloves in the grocery store to protect you from potentially contaminated surfaces, know that if you touch your eye with that glove, it's contaminated, it's no different than your hands. Um, in addition, when you get those groceries home, people worry about cleaning them. First of all, we do know now that this virus is pretty susceptible to almost any household cleaner. You don't have to have a whole lot of special stuff. If you get your cans or your boxes and you get them home and you want to clean them, you feel like that's necessary, it's, it's very low risk, but if you do feel like that's necessary, go ahead and grab those cleaners. Maybe tape off your counter and have a dirty side and a clean side. Um, Go ahead and take those cans and, you know, and rub them with whatever cleaner you have, move them to the clean side and continue to do and have a clean side. Then go clean that dirty side, take your gloves off, go wash your hands before and clean your surface before you go then touch those hands. If you got dirty hands and you go back and touch them, you defeated the purpose of cleaning them. I'll also, uh, in a second, do just a short video on how to take gloves on and off. It's important, the technique, uh, of how you do that. And that includes, uh, and I'll show you how to take them off, but first of all, you have to have clean hands inside the gloves to start with. So you must clean your hands before you put on gloves. So if you go in the grocery store and you do decide to wear gloves, at least hand gel before you put those things on. Then as you take them off, and after you take them off, there's a technique to do, which I'll show you how that's accomplished. But after that, understand that there's a good chance that you may have touched a surface of your hand, it, get wa it gets washed after. So I will tell you that the gloves are probably not necessary if you're cleaning your hands before and especially after. The most important thing you could do is not touch your face either with gloved or ungloved hands that are potentially contaminated. So here's how to remove gloves properly. Understanding that the inside of my gloves should be cleaned. You take one side, this is how a surgeon would remove them in the OR. You take and you grab in the middle of the glove and you pull it off. Now this hand is clean. 
Second thing I do is I take this clean hand and get underneath the dirty glove on the side of the glove that should be clean and pull it and invert it over and then go throw it away. Again, if you have any questions you'd like answered, we're glad to do that. You can go to www.northoaks.org slash coronavirus, uh, where you're able to see all of these videos, where, they, where you're able to uh, see all of the information that's out there about North Oaks, visitor policies, and you're able to send us questions. But always, as always, you can use Twitter, Facebook, all of those pages to, uh, that are associated with social media to get us that information.